hello everyone. It's uh, just me, unfamiliar trio today. Or, no, no. I still need to get used to that. Uh, this is trio of trio expansion pack. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, I wanted to come in and at least give a thank you to VR Funny for putting out our announcement for everyone. Um, the original plan was to have Lily here to do the thank you, whether streaming or just putting it out on uh, YouTube for you guys. There's been a problem with that. Lilia has been feeling way too sick for the past month. Um, it's either, well, we know it's the baby. We know it's the, the, you know, the growing baby, which we're overwhelmingly excited about. We know it's the baby. Uh, it's a matter of whether or not it runs in my family where second, you know, like the second child makes you the most sick, but... She's been sick at all hours, and it's been extremely difficult to get Lilia to eat without, you know, losing what she ate. It hasn't been – it has not been great. It's been difficult. So I'm not the kind of person to hop into something like VR chat and start streaming without Lilia because we're a family. We're a pair – or, you know, pair of parents who come in and try to have fun with everyone. So if she's, you know, out sick and barely even get out of bed, I'm not going to hop into VR chat. There's also, of course, been the matter of if anyone's heard about places like Texas, the Midwest and further east of that massive snowstorm and just freezing temperatures, um, I have wooden floors, and I do live in the southwest. I have wood floors and a raised foundation, so my feet are freezing right now. I cannot feel my toes right now. It's it's quite cold. I need a rug. So there has been that. We did get about, I want to say bef between 15 inches and about 24 inches of snow, depending on the area. Um, some ice, we had icicles that were, when the snow finally started melting, we had icicles that were probably about uh, six and a half feet long coming off of our, <laughs> coming off of our rain gutters. Uh, the other problem, of course, why it stays so cold in our home is our landlord hasn't fixed the cracks in our freaking walls. So we've just been doing everything to just stay warm and take care of Lilia, who hasn't been able to eat. I've tried giving her homemade chicken soup. I've tried vegan soup. I've tried and I, I've tried uh, the baby's favorite being tacos. I've tried Chinese food. I've tried everything, and it's hit or miss. And lately, it's eat a little bit. I'm gonna puke, and she's usually throwing up. Probably about 12 times plus a day, so she has no energy. And because of the snow and ice storms, Buttercup, our daughter, has been staying home for virtual learning. And with Lilia being out of it, I can't do other content creation because Lily is in bed. And I'm also taking care of making sure Buttercup stick, uh, stays up to date with her virtual learning. I still need to talk to her school about the fact they just don't do a very good job. I, I don't really like how they manage things. So let's let's go ahead and go back down here so I can ah, see myself a bit more. But yeah, that's kind of how it's been. I, I'm I'm trying my best. It's gonna take a little more time, of course. And the final bit, because it's been what feels like a month since I've done anything for everyone. Uh, the last important thing outside of just announcing that we're going to be Trio Expansion Pack and the pregnancy, which we're still thrilled about, absolutely, of course, has been that <sighs> – sorry, I'm brain farting a little. It's been a while since I've been in VR, so I'm getting used to even being here. But <sighs> – I lost where I was going. Um, oh, yeah. We also made a, a, a new emote for our Twitch. Uh, I wanted to call him Flycorn Guy because I, I, I'm, I'm not really great 
with drawing or art, and I don't really make enough connections. And uh, believe it or not, I don't make enough to really commission people for projects. I don't make much. But that's outside of the point. So I was like, you know what? I'll try to do something different, you know? So I made, I made Flycorn Guy. Um, I have to work on Lilia's emote that she wants i'm not going to say what it is because if i come out with if i tell everyone what it is then it's going to be made before i can draw it up so i have to draw up lilia's emote which will be fun but i do want i do again vr funny i really want to thank you for get, putting the announcement out there for us cuz you can tell we're we're pretty small and we're infrequent and one of the big reasons one of the biggest reasons why i'm so where we're both so infrequent is um if you heard if if you went to our channel as you are now we we said that we were going to be you know stopping drinking and and the the nicotine all of that well we have it's been really hard so I, I've become hyper aware of just how much harder it is to socialize right now with having trying to give up all the all the drinking and the nicotine. The nicotine's been the hardest bit, but um, it, it's been about a week and a half, uh, maybe two weeks, two weeks since I've had any nicotine whatsoever. So I am making progress. I just feel a lot more irritable as it goes on. Getting better, though. Getting better. So it is an arduous journey of trying to make self-improvements and try to be here for everyone. The cold, like I said, freezing my toes off. Buttercup has been doing virtual learning for the, well, the last week and a half. Lilia throwing up and just absolutely wanting to do anything to give at least a thank you video. I've been trying to get the opportunity, but it is too high risk to let Lilia or to even have her go into her Oculus Quest 2 in the living room in her current state. Because if she goes in there, she's going to get sick. And if she gets sick, she's not going to be able to make it to the bathroom. She's not going to be able to take it off safely to have an upheaval of whatever is in her stomach. So... For safety reasons, we're holding off on doing group VR sessions. It's pure for safety. But I will, of course, um, I'll give you an example of exactly how it is. So, uh, hey, Lilia, you uh, you want to do some uh, VR chat later? <coughs> oh. That's a no. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Yeah, so it's a bit like that. Uh-huh. Let's just say I don't... I don't think that's exactly what we'd call content and safe. It's not, it's not even really... Um, it's not nice. It's kind of mean. So we're not going to do that to Lilia. We're going to do everything we can to encourage her and support her on trying to get into a more stable, be able to move around without being constantly sick. So, you know, she's, you know, like a month or so in, and that's when a lot of the morning sickness happens. It's just the second pregnancy means the morning sickness is going to be, yup. Uh-huh. I'm hoping it'll be soon that we'll be able to get things moving along a little better. Buttercup will be able to go back to school next week and give both of us a reprieve. Because this virtual learning, we ha we have no idea what her teacher wants us to do. Honestly, I've been trying I've been trying to do everything my myself with what the the applications are. So yeah, that's just me complaining. Again, VR funny. Thank you. I very much appreciate it. Lily is very thankful, and I and I will say, getting those announcements for us at Trio Expansion Pack even it even brought some tears to my eyes. It it really teared me up a little bit to 
really solidify like this is really happening we're really having another kid we've been trying for a year and a half to get pregnant again a year and a half of hard effort and it has been taking about a month for it to truly set in that this is happening thank you anyone who watched that and commented i read all of them i really appreciate it and it really touched my heart thank you i'll Try to bring some kind of content for you guys in the meantime that doesn't have to be VR chat or everything like that. I could do like um, Nintendo or I could do more Genshin Impact or some other games. It, if I can't do VR chat, I'll at least try to do something for you guys. But thank you again. And I look forward to, to these long months and the future with everyone. And... We look forward to letting everyone know when we find out when our due date is and when or and what we'll be having if we're having a boy or a girl. We have no idea. We'll be finding out some in about mid-March when the due date is and hopefully, hopefully then we'll know what we're having. But it's prob we're, we might not know until maybe May or June. I'm not sure yet, but as soon as we know, we'll let all of you know. Thank you again, everyone, and thank you very much for the support. I will no longer be drinking. That's I, I'm done. I'm not vaping anymore. I'm not doing any of that stuff anymore. I'm done. I'm I'm just gonna be. Um, I I don't want to be the stereotypical dad. I don't want to be Dadicus either. So, I'll I'll just be me. And once the next once our baby's born. We'll come up with a, a good, solid name. I don't think we plan on having more kids after that, so it'll, it'll just be the second child or if we have twins or whatever, because we already know Lily is still wants twins. But again, everyone, thank you very much. It's, it's going to be a very interesting journey, and I look forward to sharing as, as much as we're willing with everyone. We'll let you know next month what's going on with the baby.